like Independence Day? That sucked ass too. Nah, dude, independent films are those black and white hippie movies. They're always about gay cowboys eating pudding. No, they're not. Independent films are produced outside the Hollywood system. They're movies about all the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. <laughs> well, you show me one independent film that isn't about gay cowboys eating pudding. Once again, you have no idea what you're talking about, fat ass. I'm not fat. I just haven't grown into my body yet, you skinny bitch. Eric, <laughs> if you call Wendy a bitch one more time, I'm sending you to the principal's office. Bitch. That's it, Eric. You I'm going. Anyway, children, I want you all to see at least one independent film at the festival and then write a paper about it. Uh. The first film showing is called Witness to Denial, and it's a sexual exploration piece about two women in love. Uh, my Uncle Jimbo has a ton of those movies in his dresser drawer. No, no, I want to shoot the script next month with Demi Moore test. Well, you tell Spielberg he can kiss my ass. Wow, look at this, Johnson. Traffic jams at every intersection, hordes of people pushing their way through the crowds. It's almost like we're a real city. <sighs> Can't believe I got sent to the principal's office because of your stupid girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, damn, dude, look at all these people. I'm late for a screening. I'll call you from the theater. All this for a bunch of stupid movies? Hello there, children. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what you doing? Children, this whole film festival thing has quite lucrative monetary possibilities. Now, I'm going to sell some of my famous cookies to these Hollywood types and make them mint. What kind of cookies? Calm down, Tubby. They're little cookies with fudge in the middle, and I call them fudgems. I want a fudgem. I can just see the commercial now. Wife got you down, boss making you angry, kids yelling at you. Well, fudgem. Cool. And I've also got my double chocolate cookies, fudge this. Oh, look, one of the natives is selling local food wares. How quaint. This is why I come to these things, to get away from L.A. and become one with a more simple culture. Well, perhaps you'd like to try my low-calorie cookies. Go fudge yourself. Or my all-natural, I don't really give a flying fudge. Ooh, do you have any tofu or steamed celery? Huh? I would kill for some couscous right now. Who's goose? Uh, never mind. We brought some food from the natural market in L.A. Cute sign, though. Sir, I have two tickets for the opening film of the festival. Would you like to come with me? <laughs> Shut up, Carmen. Sure, dude. I mean, since we have to write a paper on a film anyway. She'll be the death of him, Claire. Mark my words. She'll be the death of him. If she holds his hand in that theater, it'll be all over. Get him while they're hot. My all-new cookies. I just went and fudged your mama. Jesus, he sure ran that one into the ground. When's this thing start? I hope there's some good previews. Sam, film festival movies don't usually have previews before that. Wait, what? Who are you to judge my womanly soul? The goddess flames that burn in my memory aren't dark. Dare you call them dark. Here lies the goddess truth of my body. Oh, brother. The goddess that cries, freedom, he- Could it be? <coughs> Mr. Hanky? Mr. Hanky, is that you? Hello? I'm here live in South Park, Colorado, where citizens of Los Angeles are arriving in jobs for the town's first annual film festival. This is just a small, quiet mountain community where nothing out of the ordinary ever really happens, except for the occasional complete destruction of the entire town. And so the excitement level is naturally very high. Right now, the townspeople are anxiously awaiting the arrival of some of Hollywood's top celebrities. It was him, dude. I tell you, it was Mr. Hanky. Wait, I thought Mr. Hanky only came at Christmas time. Well, I'm sure it was him. Look, look, here comes somebody. I wonder who's that? I can't see. see. Oh, move Ladies and gentlemen, TV's Fred Savage. Aww. Well, I'm sure a real person will show up soon. So how was that movie last night, dude? Oh, dude, you don't even want to know. It had a bunch of gay cowboys eating pudding, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. The theater sucks, though. They need to get a bigger screen. They should project the movies on Cartman's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that'd be like IMAX. <laughs> okay, that's enough fat-ass jokes for this week. <laughs> okay, that does it. Screegers, I'm going home. Well? I'm gonna. Just give me a minute. This is perfect. Why didn't we think of it sooner? This town still has some charm left, not the mess we turned Park City into. Forgive me for being observant, but won't we just end up doing the same thing to this town? Yes, and the town after. Can't live in quiet, simple, peaceful mountain towns? Then nobody will. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Zoom into a close-up on my face when I do that, ready? Then nobody will. <laughs> That's it. Children, I'm glad you're here. I want you to check out my new confectionaries. I think they're going to sail right through the roof. I call them Chef's Salted Chocolate Balls. Are they good? Try them. Hey, these are good. Yeah, I love your salted chocolate ball, Chef. <laughs> there it is again. There's one again. It's Mr. Hanky. I think he's in some kind of trouble. Dude, how do you tell if a piece of poo is in trouble? Where does that grill go? To the sewer, dude. Of course, the sewer. That must be where he is. Come on. Come on. Say, everybody ever seen my balls? They're big and salty and brown. If you ever need a quick, pick me up. Just stick my balls in your mouth. Suck on my chocolate salty balls. Put them in your mouth. Put them in your mouth and suck them and suck them. Break free from overpriced wireless with Boost Mobile. Switch to Boost and get a free Samsung Galaxy A23 5G phone with an advanced four quad camera and a brilliant 6.6 inch HD display. Because when you have the power to break free, you can't be stopped.
Take charge with the unbeatable power of America's largest 5G networks. Switch to Boost and get a free Samsung Galaxy A23 phone. Boost Mobile, unleash your power. Hanging out in a sewer? Children, do you know how to file a police report? No. Good. See you in school. This is ridiculous. What the hell are we, the Goonies? Yeah, we're the Goonies, Cartman. Why don't you pretend like you're the Fat King? Okay, that does it. Here you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Hanky! I told you guys he'd be here. Gosh, look at you. You're all grown up so fast. Hi, Mr. Hanky. Nice to see you. Have you all been brushing behind your teeth? Yes. And using dental floss? Yes. And washing behind your ears? Yes. No. <coughs> Mr. Hanky, are you sick? Oh, I've just got a little cold is all. All these new people in South Park are stressful in my home. What do you mean? Well, you see, boys, the sewer is a fragile ecosystem. Oh, my God. These new folks in town eat nothing but couscous, tofu, and raw vegetables, and it's destroying my environment. And that's why you got a cold? That's why, right, pal. That's why. Right. Well, why don't you just ask them to leave? There's only one time a year I can come to the surface, and that's Christmas time. That's why I need you boys to go for me. <coughs> don't worry, Mr. Hanky. We'll go tell everyone. Come on, guys. Don't forget to change your sheets once a week. So, without further ado, we will begin this amazing film. It's a work of blood, sweat, and tears. Wait, stop. Can I have your attention, please? Is that Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh, oh, God, God, Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Oh, no, wait, that's not him. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, my best friend, Mr. Hanky, is getting sick because South Park has become overcrowded with people who eat health food. Excuse me, little boy, what's a Mr. Hanky? He's a talking piece of poo that lives in the sewer. But now he's getting sick because his ecosystem is all out of whack because of all the extra poo in the sewer. If you don't all leave and go home soon, Mr. Hanky's gonna die. He's one of my best friends in the whole wide world, and, and I don't want him to die. What a great story. It has everything. This could be the next Free Willy. Great pitch, son. How much do you want for it? Huh? Does it have to be a talking piece of poo? It could be a crime-fighting rabbit or a lovable turtle. This could be a great summer movie. Can we put a monkey in it? The Mr. Hanky story. Is Harrison Ford available for a fall pick? Keanu Reeves. Matt Damon. Fred Savage. <laughs> I'd pay a million for this story. I'll pay two. Dude, no one even listened to me. You know what? It does sound like a pretty sweet movie. I take it you're part owner of this whole Mr. Hooey story, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, I guess. I want you to do a big money deal with me. All of us? Well, I can see that you're the real brains of the group. You don't really need... Mr. Hanky? <laughs> Mr. Hanky? Believe me, they thought I was pitching a movie. Oh, I, I see. Well, shucks, Cog. I can't thank you enough for trying. We only have one option. I gotta take you to the surface. Well, I can't. The sun will dry me out. It's the only way to prove to them that you're real. But I won't last long up above. Well, you're not gonna last down here either, Mr. Hanky. Now, come on. I'm not gonna let you die. All right, just let me get my toothbrush. Come on, Stan. We're gonna be late for the screening. Jeez, they made that into a movie already? Mr. Hanky, I can't go on anymore. I've lost the fight. No, I'm not leaving without you. We started this together, and we're gonna finish it together. I always thought death was something glorious, but now I know that it's not. <laughs> it's going over really well. People are gonna be knocking my door down to get you. Who the hell cast Tom Hanks in this? Tom Hanks tried to act his way out of a nut sack. I'll always love you, Mr. Hanky. <laughs> When you smell the amazing scent of new game flames, time stops. Your heart races. Your eyes close. 